obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the combustion process inside a gasifier chamber. The process of gasification is defined as the conversion of biomass raw materials into synthesis gas. Thus, the combustion process for solid fuel at high temperatures occurs at a temperature of about 1000 degree of Kelvin, which leads to the production of synthetic gas. The gas is mainly a combination of carbon monoxide, methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, water vapor, nitrogen, and some particles of hydrocarbons, tars, and ashes. The synthesis gas from this technology can be used to generate thermal energy and generate electricity. This gas has a lower thermal value than natural gas but has the ability to ignite. To produce these gases, we use a gasifier reactor. So that in this gasifier, the biomass material reacts with the gas producing agent. The present problem simulates the combustion process inside the gasifier chamber. The material used for combustion is biomass which reacts with the oxidizer. It is a biomass substance made from weed straw that reacts with oxygen to produce synthetic gas as a healthy fuel. In the present model, fuel containing biomass and air enters the chamber from two separate inlets from the upper area and creates a mass of materials including ash and semi-combustible coal in the lower part of the chamber. Finally, the resulting gas is discharged from the outlet at the bottom of the chamber to the next stage, entering the relevant boiler to create the combustion process. The present two-dimensional model is drawn using Gambit software. The geometry of the model is related to a gasifier chamber with a nozzle structure in the middle of its body, thus two narrow small diameter tubes on either side of the chamber are located as the air inlet duct. The other section with a larger diameter for injecting biomass at the top of the chamber and a synthesis gas outlet duct is located at the bottom of the chamber. The meshing of the present model has been done using Gambit software 2. The mesh type is unstructured and the element number is 1108. As we are investigating and studying the combustion phenomena, so the energy equation should be activated. Since in this simulation the combustion reaction between biomass and oxidant occurs and various gas species are involved in the process as reactants or products, the species transport model has been used and by activating the reaction within it, a non-premix type reaction model has been used. The one-step suit model is also activated to simulate the, and, uh, invest, uh, and consider the suit in the simulation. And also the combusting particle is uh, defined as wheat straw, that the density is equal to 400. The air inlet boundary condition type is mass flow inlet. As this boundary condition relates to the air inlet, so the suit mass fraction and mean mixture and mixture fractions, all of them are equal to zero. And this shows that the inlet, the only material at the inlet is the air. Also, the discrete phase boundary condition type at all inlets, I mean the air inlet and fuel inlet and also the gas outlet boundary condition. All of them, the discrete phase boundary condition type is escape. It means that the particles passes through inlets and outlets. The internal emissivity, as it is mentioned before, is equal to one in both inlets. As we are going to simulate an uh, adiabatic chamber for the gasifier, so the heat flux thermal condition is activated and the heat flux magnitude is equal to zero. 
also the material of the wall is uh, defined as aluminium although it is adiabatic and the material and its thickness uh, doesn't affect on the simulation the simple algorithm in the solution methods section uses a relationship between velocity and pressure corrections to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field also the pressure velocity coupling scheme controls controls the manner in which pressure and velocity are updated when the pressure based solver is used the scheme can be either segregated like simple uh, that uh, pressure and velocity are updated uh, separately or coupled that uh, the pressure and velocity are updated simultaneously uh, ANSYS Fluent provides the following segregated types of algorithms uh, like simple, simple C, piezo and fractional step or FSM in general, segregated methods like simple that has been chosen in the CFD simulation are faster per iteration, while the couple algorithm usually requires fewer iteration to converge. In the section, contours of pressure, velocity, temperature, and velocity vectors are extracted and presented to you using CFD Post software. Finally, this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at